Bring your fellow traveler. I want to remind you today that you have permission to change for the better or for the worse. It's up to you. The world puts a lot of pressures on us at times. So much so that we don't even realize it, to be honest with you. But at some point, you have a realization, or I hope you have a realization with yourself that you are allowed to change. You don't have to stay doing the same thing or the same things. You don't have to keep the same vision. It's your choice. Nobody, like, nobody can take that away from you. So own it. Embrace it. And with those changes, it'll come change in relationships. It'll come change in friendships, all types of things. Okay. That's part of life. But live it. Don't get too rigid or too caught up in it has to be this, it has to be that. No. It has to be what you desire, whether you like it or not. That's just it's part of the game, right? I'm sharing this to, to encourage you to really think about that. Think about what's going on with you in your life. And I ain't saying that it has to be perfect or pretty or any of that. I'm simply saying, if you know there's something that makes you smile and you're not entertaining it, you ain't going to get that for yourself. Why not? People going to say that you're crazy. So, <laughs> maybe maybe we're crazy for staying too rigid or staying and holding on to an idea because we don't want to challenge it or we don't want to be seen as a failure. Whatever. In somebody else's eyes, you'll always be a failure or something. But in your own eyes, as long as you go do the things that you set out to do, even if it's not to that magnitude, you set out to do it and you did it, how can you fail? You learn about the thing and you learn about yourself. That's all that matters. What everybody else says, that's for them to worry about. But for you, man, live your life. Simply live your life. And be grateful that you get a chance to do it every waking moment. Anything else is uncivilized. Why do it? But enjoy it. And if anything, give grace to yourself. Be lighthearted with some things. All things if you can, but that's perfection, right? No, just be lighthearted. Don't worry about it. Most importantly, though, live from your heart. That's, that's one thing that I've learned along my journey that has really helped me. Ooh, through the good, through the bad. I put my heart into things that I do. It doesn't matter how long or how short. It doesn't matter. I put my heart into it. And when I put my heart into it, I've never regretted things. Because what I've learned through those processes or through those experiences... I can only gain that understanding through putting my whole heart into it. I wish that for you, whatever that looks like. We don't have to have the same journey. We never will. The goal is to be appreciative of your journey. And if you have it in you, cheer on to others that are seeking out theirs as well. Pray for those who are lost along their way. But wish them the best that you can. Wish them what you will wish for yourself. Because when we gone, we gone. So enjoy it. But don't beat yourself up. That's not loving yourself. Love who you are. Give yourself permission to live. And move forward with that knowing that through God's grace, God's will, God's power, everything else going to be all right. So your journey is designed for you. It's not designed for anybody else. So focus on you. Don't worry about those who have the polar opposite energy, who want to deter you, who want to keep you off. Don't worry about them because they got their own baggage to carry. But for you, even when you're confronted with that energy, set your boundaries, move forward. That's how you take care of you. That's how you protect your peace. That's how you protect your self-respect. That's how you protect your heart. But you got to live from your heart. Because when you don't, there's nothing to look forward to.
with those things said, I hope some of this helped at least one person. Uh, thank any of you who have tuned in. Until next time, be blessed.